Hi and welcome. In this video, I will discuss capability maturity model integration or CMMI, which is a framework to enable organizations to benchmark their performance across a variety of critical business capabilities, including product development, service excellence, workforce management, data management, supplier management, and cybersecurity. I have put in all the information related to CMMI in this single slide, which I will be discussing next. I have prepared uh, this video out of these six books and information available on Wikipedia. Now the purpose of a maturity model is to enable a customer to assess the performance of a vendor with regards to the maturity of its software development processes or product development processes. And a maturity model also enable an organization to improve uh, their development processes. So it serves uh, both purpose for the customer and for the organization. Now maturity model is uh, very helpful to improve uh, the quality of a product since the quality of a product depends upon the quality of its development processes. Hence, by improving the development processes, an organization can improve the quality of their products. Now, in 1980s, the IT projects were suffering uh, from project failure uh, due to over budgeting or over scheduling. So, an effort was put in to professionalize the software engineering practices and processes which happened uh, happens throughout software development life cycle starting from product definition till its operations and maintenance so uh, the united states department of defense put in an effort to assess the maturity of software development processes of their defense contractors. So the United uh, States Armed Forces funded a study by Software Engineering Institute, which is a research and development center uh, under Department of Defense. And this center was established in 1984 at Carnegie Mellon University and uh, this center uh, do, uh, does R&D in software engineering, cyber security and software assurance. So uh, under this study the software project data was collected uh, from the Department of Defense contractors and in 1990s the capability maturity model which was uh, the first version of uh, this capability maturity model integration was formulated then several versions were introduced of this capability maturity model or cmm then in 2010 uh, the capability maturity model integration version 1.3 was introduced and then in 2018 uh, the latest version was introduced uh, which is the capability maturity model integration version 2.0 so this uh, capability maturity model version uh, integration version 2 integrated the earlier models 
and this capability maturity model integration version 2 is patented by Carnegie Mellon University. So, the earlier version or the older version of capability maturity model is also known as software capability maturity model. So, it mainly focuses on uh, the improvement of development processes which revolves around software development. But it has also, it had also certain applications with regards to business processes. But overall it uh, lagged in uh, integration with the organization processes for which different models were uh, used. So in order to integrate all these models, the capability maturity model integration was introduced uh, by the CMMI Institute of Isaka, which is the Information System Audit and Control Association. So, uh, the capability maturity model integration project was then transferred from Software Engineering Institute to the CMMI Institute in 2013. And both of these institutes are at Carnegie Mellon University. So, uh, this CMMI uh, project was also funded uh, by the Office of Secretary of Defense of United States and National uh, Defense Industrial Association. So, the first version was introduced uh, of this capability maturity model integration in 2010 that was version 1.3 and then in 2018 its latest version was introduced that is the current version of 2.0. So, this is a maturity framework to improve and to assess the IT practices and the software development practices and the security practices, uh, practices of an organization. So, it has integrated uh, the organization processes, not only the software development processes. So, this capability maturity model integration focuses on what aspect of software development lifecycle processes rather than how these processes are implemented. So, an organization can be access, assessed uh, against this capability maturity model integration, but an organization cannot be certified against this capability maturity model integration. Now, uh, in the first version of capability maturity model integration, that is version 1.3, which was introduced in 2010, there were certain area of interest with regards to uh, the development processes, the service uh, uh, establishment processes and the acquisition processes and the people. But later on in the latest version, all uh, these areas are merged. Moreover, uh, there were certain approaches uh, with regards to this assessment and these approaches are also known as representations. So, there were two kind of representations or approaches. First is known as the continuous uh, representation and the second one is the staged representation. So, these both representations were introduced in version 1.3, but now in version 2.0, which is the latest version of capability maturity model integration, uh, these both are merged. So, in the previous uh, 1.3 version of capability maturity model integration, according to this uh, continued uh, up, uh, representation, it, uh, its focus was on the capability levels and the stage representation focus was on the maturity levels. So, these capability levels include incomplete performed, managed and defined. So, these capability uh, levels focuses on 
a particular process whereas the maturity levels focus on a particular stage or particular level of CMMI which I will uh, show next so these maturity levels are initial managed defined quantitatively managed and optimized but now both of these uh, representations and approaches are merged into single one so this capability maturity model is a framework which uh, guides an organization through its evolution path uh, to improve the software development processes so an organization may also assess or set its benchmarking uh, of its software development lifecycle processes by measuring the maturity of these development processes so now in capability maturity model integration version 2 there are five levels the first one is the initial then the second one is the repeatable and third level is the defined and then is quantitatively managed and last one is optimizing so an organization may be accessed to be at initial level or repeatable level or defined level or managed level or optimizing level depending upon the maturity of its development processes so in the initial level uh, the development processes of an organization are chaotic and unpredictable and inconsistent and reactive and ad hoc so the hard working people uh, all the project management revolves around hard working people or individual heroism so if uh, the people are not uh, hard working uh, or if a particular person is not present then a project may get failed so there is no defined or formal software development processes or and with regards to the key process areas there are no key process areas if an organization is at this initial stage or initial level of with regards to the maturity of its software development processes now these key process areas are also known as the model domains so if an organization uh, is at repeatable level then it's uh, it follows basic software development life cycle management practices with regards to basic costing, scheduling, quality control and change management and also the there are practices with regards to, to the use reuse of codes of earlier uh, successful projects so the processes are characterized with regards to specific projects instead of organization processes so the results are repeatable with regards to the successful projects but there are no standardized methodology or mechanisms with regards to software development processes so the processes are still reactive and ad hoc basis and there is no formal and standard software development life cycle model now the key uh, process areas in this uh, domain or in this uh, level are the requirement management software project plan the software project tracking and oversight software subcontract management basic software quality assurance and basic change management now at defined level the processes are now formally documented which is the uh, which are uh, not done in the previous levels so the processes are now characterized uh, for organization instead of a specific project and there is a standard model uh, which 
can tailor uh, the process according uh, to a specific project. So the now the processes are proactive, whereas in the previous stage it uh, these processes were pro, uh, reactive. And uh, the processes are quantitatively improved. So the key process areas are uh, the organization process focus and organization process definition, training program, integrated software management, software product management, uh, intergroup coordination, and peer reviews. So in the level four, the processes are uh, managed quantitatively and the, uh, these processes are measured and as per the quantitative matrix controlled. So there is improved uh, management and the key process areas or the model quantitative process quality management. So in the last level, the improved by getting the quantitative feedback uh, to SDLC software development life cycle phases and through also processes are improved uh, through innovative ideas. Moreover, budgeting and uh, the integrated plans are in place and the key process areas in this optimizing stage are the defect prevention uh, in the soft uh, with regards to software errors or coding errors and technology change management and process change management. Now these are the list of key process areas or model domains uh, with regards to each of the maturity level. So the level two is uh, the repeatable and then uh, level three is defined and then level four is managed and level five is optimizing. So these are the list of the key process areas uh, in each of these maturity levels. So if, if an organization uh, is at level five, then it should be, it should have all these processes in place. And if an organization is at level two, then it should have only the level two processes. And if an organization is at maturity level of level three, then it should have level two and level three processes in place. So this was all from my side. Uh, please stay connected to my channel for similar videos. Thank you.